All right, guys, I've got a WiseCam version 3, and we're going to put the Thingino open source firmware on it. Hey, everybody, it's Josh from the WL Tech Blog. Today, I've got a WiseCam V3, and we're going to upgrade it to the Thingino open source firmware. Now, you know the drill. There's links down in the description. It's going to have the camera, the firmware flasher, and everything else we talk about in this video. So check that out. Now this one took a little bit longer than anticipated to do just because some other things got in the way but don't worry i've got more install videos coming up as we develop these hacks and add support for more cameras we're going to take an sd card you need 128 megabyte or larger well i've got one of these really nice Stingino branded sd cards that happens to be exactly 128 megabytes so for upgrading the wise cam version 3 this one's a little bit different than the last where we've got several different versions of this camera with different hardware so there's an extra step to the install process where we actually detect what hardware is in it so we're going to go ahead and walk through the process the first step is going to be preparing the micro sd card all right we're going to go ahead and do this process on a ubuntu linux system so i've already downloaded the flash file which see i've got named ysv3 flasher.zip and i've got my sd card already in the device so if you're doing this on windows your instructions will be a little bit different but basically what we're going to do we're going to format the sd card then we're going to unzip this file into it so let's first see what our SD card is. Uh, so we'll do an LSBLK. And this is us right here, SDA1. We're going to make a fast VFAT, dev SDA1. We need to do that with sudo. So there we go. Then we're going to mount that. over here at slash mnt I'm going to go into slash mnt and we're going to sudo unzip the file into here and when you're done your SD card should look like this so we'll go ahead and get out of it and we will unmount it Hooray for file system cache. You always want to make sure that you safely unmount your SD cards because you see how long it took for it to finish writing the data after it had already returned control to us. All right, the next step that we have here, we're going to put our SD card into the camera. Got it here. Now this camera, has the factory firmware on it this is just like when you pull yours fresh out of the box this one has never been signed up i've never had the wise app installed and never will so here we'll open the sd card slot on the bottom and we'll push this guy in all right now as i said the first step is we're going to have it identify which camera we have so we know which firmware to get so we've got the plug here we're just going to plug it into power which i've done and this part takes about 15 seconds or so and you can hear if you listen really carefully you probably won't hear on the video you've got a really light click and then you've got a slightly louder click which i just heard actually make sure and give it about 30 seconds 15 turns out to be not enough so we're going to unplug the power again. We're going to take out the SD card. Now we're going to put it back into our Linux box here. And there's going to be a new file that was created. We'll check it out. All right, so I put the SD card back in my Linux device and we're going to go ahead and get it mounted up. Now, if you're using graphical tools, it'll be similar. You're just not going to be doing it all by hand. And that's just fine. So now we're going to look at flash.txt. So this has gone through. 
it's looking to see if the firmware already exists it does not and here it is identified which firmware it is that you need to get so we're going to head on over to the github releases page for thingino and we're going to grab this file all right now we're going to go ahead and download it here it'll be a 16 megabyte file And then we're going to unmount our SD card again. And that one didn't take very long to clear the cache at all. So we're going to go ahead and pop that SD card out of the Linux box. And we're going to put it in the camera and boot her up. All right, now after putting the SD card in and powering the camera up, uh, go ahead and wait about two minutes and you're not going to get a whole lot of feedback on it when it's doing its process dang it so you pop the sd card in you wait about two minutes or so and you should get a new network it starts with ing so i've got the geno such and such and such so we'll go ahead and we're going to connect to that that'll bring me to the captive portal where we can put in our Wi-Fi credentials and our root password. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so we're up on the network. I went ahead and grabbed the IP address from my router. And here we are on our preview page. Come over and see information about the camera. We are on today's build, actually last night's build, I guess. Set our time zone, which requires a reboot, which I'm not going to reboot right now. That preview page. Check out night mode. Now, the preview page only updates once every second. There's a command here that will let you actually play it, and that will, this URL here will work in just about any kind of player that understands RTSP. All right, so that's it. It's been a long time coming, but I finally got the Wise Cam version three. Now this will probably be the newest device from Wise that we'll be able to use with Thingino because newer ones, they've started using Secure Boot, which prevents you from loading your own software onto these devices. And that's unfortunate because that means that if you don't like what they're giving you, it goes in the trash. Or if they go out of business, it goes in the trash. Or if they discontinue support for this model, it goes in the trash. You really can't do anything more with it. So look forward to a lot of other brands being featured on here. I've already done several and I've got a shelf full of other brand cameras that we're going to be talking about here real soon. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for another video. Make sure and give me a like down below if you enjoyed this video. Of course, any comments or questions you might have, throw them down there. And if you are interested in this sort of content, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. If you'd like to join our community, we have a very active Discord channel, which will also be in the link description. This is an open source project, so if this type of stuff interests you and you're interested in contributing, we welcome you over there as well. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay fresh, cheese bags.